Hey guys, it's your boy Ultrasonic Bros here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing off everything I got for my birthday of 2024. And yeah, and I have gotten some stuff for my birthday like this year, and I want to show them off. So, anyways, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to be showing off is this Funko Pop right here, which is a Shadow the Hedgehog Funko Pop. And yeah, honestly, I have to say I really like the look of this Funko Pop. Like, it looks pretty cool. And like you see, it's got Sonic the Hedgehog right here. Like, they, they should just put Shadow the Hedgehog because this is Shadow. And like you see here, it's got Pop Games. And yeah, and like you see here, Shadow is holding the little Chaos Emerald. Like you see here, even on the box. But yeah, and it's also got a number right here. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know what number this is for, but let me know in the comments below. But yeah, and it is a GameStop exclusive, and I, I got this guy from GameStop, and I gotta say, I like this guy a lot. It's just awesome. I love it. And I'm definitely gonna be using this guy in the video in the future, so stay tuned for that. The next thing I got is the Blu-ray for the Knuckles series. Like you see here, like, I know that y'all are gonna be like, oh, Ultra, why'd you get this for your birthday? Knuckles series is bad. Well, uh, Knuckles series, it's great to me. I like it. It's pretty good to me. Like, oh, like you see, if you open it up, which I don't have the disc in there right now because I, I currently have it in my PS5, but yeah. Like you see, it's got Sonic right here and Knuckles with a VR headset and take a look at this it's got Knuckles on his throne and here it's got like special features he just hits different and if you want to read all that I guess and yeah honestly like it's a pretty good series to me and yeah I can't believe I got it on disc the next thing I got for my birthday is this Jack specific classic Knuckles plush. And yeah, honestly, this is actually the smaller version, if you guys didn't know, but I gotta say this is a really cool looking plush. It is smaller than the GE one I have right here. Like you see, the GE one is just bigger than this guy. And I do have another Jack Knuckles, like, uh, right here like you see i do have another one right here and yeah overall the this jack's knuckles plush right here it is a bit bigger than this guy and i gotta say like they're both uh, pretty cool like this one is a cool looking plush like you see the eyes they're a bit different than this guy's right here whereas this one the pupils fully show whereas this one it kind of really doesn't but eh whatever i kind of like this guy anyways and if you take a look at the nose of these two, like you see this guy's nose, it's like pointy, which is pretty cool. Whereas this one, it's flat for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. And if you take a look at these two's gloves, like you see um, this one's is a lot smaller than this guy's right here, which is kind of weird, but yeah. And this is actually like the wave one release. And if you take a look at the tails here, it's pretty much the same thing as this guy's right here. It's not really like a hook shaped design. Whereas with the GE one, I don't know if you could see it. Oh, you could see it right there. Like you see on the GE one, it's like a hook shaped design. Whereas this one, it's flat for some reason or straight. It's kind of weird. And another weird thing with this plush is that uh, on the back of the shoes, it's just completely yellow. Whereas with these plushies, like these Jax plushies nowadays, they have like red at the back, which is pretty good for these plushies, but it's really weird for like these plushies. And yeah. And here's the look at the tag right here. It says $8. Cause I got it for like $8. And if you take a look in here, if you want to read all that, then uh, okay. And here's this tag right here. And here's a look at the tush tag. 
and it's got like the copyright stuff like nobody reads that nowadays but yeah overall that's the jacks not classic knuckles and he's pretty cool the next thing i got for my birthday is this jack specific classic tales plush and yeah this guy is really small and cute like you see here's a look at his face like you see he just looks pretty adorable and yeah and it does look pretty similar to my main tails plush and like you see here like if you can see close enough like you see um the new ones like it's like it really um white whereas my main one it's not really that white anymore well it is technically white but it's just wore out like you see like my, with my main one it's just really worn out and like you see the stitching on this one like it's starting to come off whereas with this guy hey it's new so it's not really gonna come off and it's really white and yeah overall like with this plushie like you see he's got the chest fur and yeah overall this is a really cool looking plush and like you see here with the tails to me they kind of look like two tails and they actually look a bit better compared to this plushie, whereas this, it looks like one tail. Whereas this one, it kind of looks like two tails. This one just looks like one tail. And that's what most people don't like, but for me, I think I found a charm to it. And same goes with this. Like, yeah. Overall, like, this plushie is awesome, and I really like this guy a lot. The next thing I got for my birthday is this GE Werehog plush. Just kidding, he's a bootleg. And I I know that y'all are gonna be like a USB. How's he how's he a bootleg? Well, if you take a look at the tag, it's not the GE one, and like you see here, it's like in Chinese, and the tag is different compared to the GE one, which I do have a an official GE tag right here from my Jet the Hawk plush. And like you see, here's all the stuff on the official one, comparing it to the fake. Like you see here, yeah. But to me, for a bootleg, this looks pretty good. And I honestly really like this guy a lot. And I do have a video planned for this guy in the future, so stay tuned for that. And yeah. Oh, and by the way, subscribe if you want a Werehawk video. The next thing I got for my birthday is three of the Jack Pacific Movie Sonic plushies. And yeah, let's start off with Sonic. And right here is Sonic, the Jack's Movie Sonic. And like you see here, he is a cool looking plush. Like you see here, um, here's a look at the tag right here. It says Sonic right here, Sonic Movie 3, Jack Pacific. Here's the inside. I don't know if you can read that. Well, maybe you can. Yeah, you could probably read that, but yeah. And like you see here, here's the eyes. They look great. Same with the mouth right here. I think it's embroidered on there, but yeah. Like you see here, here's the back of the plush and he has actual real back spikes. Comparing it to other Jack specific Sonic plushies were they have like the pancake head design, which this is what most people don't like. I'm one of those people that don't really like the pancake head design, but for me, I like the front of it, not the back. And yeah, honestly, I'm happy that they decided to do this to the movie plushes. Because like, if it was like a pancake head, then I'm sure some people wouldn't be happy about that. But yeah, it's pretty good that the spikes are at the back. And what I noticed here is that they added an extra back spike, which if you compare it to my GE Sonic plush, like you see he has one, two, three, four, five, six, six back spikes. And this one just has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven back spikes, which is kind of odd, but I'm sure all the movie plushies have this. And like you see, here's the hands, and here's a look at the shoes with no buckles as you compare it with these plushies where they actually have buckles on them, which is pretty cool. And yeah. Alright, and now for Tails, like you see, here's the Jack specific movie Tails plush. And like you see here, he does look very similar to 
the Jax Modern Tails. And like you see here, here's the Jax Modern Tails. Like you see, they both look very similar to each other, except for the eyes on the modern one is bigger, comparing it to the movie one. And the movie one has like these bangs that look kind of cool, but they're like rounded on the edges, whereas these ones, they have a bit of a sharp end to it. And yeah, same goes with the fur here, I guess. And yeah, comparing it to here, like, I'm not sure what this is. It's probably like the fur, but it has a sharp end to it. And yeah, and if you compare it to the tails here, like both of the tails, like you see, this one's a bit more rounded, whereas this one has a bit more sharp end or something. But yeah, overall, like these plushies, well, let me put this out of the way. Like you see, this plushie is pretty cool. Like you see, he's got the little belt here, little fur on his chest. Here's his hand. And yeah, here's the tag right here. Like you see, it has tails right here, Sonic Move 3. And it's the same thing as the Jax movie Sonic. And yeah, here's the look at his shoes. They don't look too bad. I kind of like it a lot. Next up is Jack's Movie Knuckles. And yeah, like you see with this plushie, it looks great. Like you see, the mouth is a bit funny looking. Like comparing it to the other movie plushies where the mouth is a bit different. But yeah, with this Knuckles plushie, this mouth is really funny looking. And his eyes are a bit smaller on this plush, which is kind of weird, but okay. But yeah, here's a look at his boxing gloves. His spikes are really flat. And I'm not too much of a big fan of these spikes right here because they wear down pretty easily. Which, I do have a Knuckles plush that has a, a worn out, that has like worn out spikes on him. So let me go get it real quick. All right, so I got the War Out Knuckles plush here. And like you see here, this is what can happen if you use the plush for like a really long time. Like the gloves on the, the spikes on the gloves, they can get wore out and the stitching can just come off of it. And yeah, that's what happened to this guy right here. And I'm hoping that it doesn't happen to this guy, but yeah. But overall, with this guy, like, it's a pretty cool looking plush. Like you see, here's the tag. It's the same thing as the other plushes. And here's a look at the tush tag with the copyright stuff. And yeah, here's a look at his chest. That looks awesome. And here's a look at his shoes. And they look awesome. And to be honest, I like this guy a lot. The next thing I got is this Xbox Series X controller faceplate thing, and yeah, I have tried to install it on my Series X controller, but it doesn't fit. Because I found out that I need the scuff version of the controller. Yay! But it was only like $10, so yeah, who even gives a crap? But I might get like a different controller for that. like. I might get the scuff controller in the future, so yeah. The next thing I got is this Shadow the Hedgehog t-shirt, which I didn't even take it out of the bag yet, but honestly, he it does look pretty cool. Like, it has the Shadow Funko Pop here with Chaos Emeralds, like, yeah, it has the Hedgehog here, which you'll be able to fully see it once I get it out of the bag, which, let me do that real quick. All right guys, so I got out a little bag and like you see here, you can definitely see it. It has Shadow the Hedgehog right here, Shadow the Hedgehog. It, it looks really awesome. Like the shirt is pretty big, but to be honest, like the shirt, it looks great and I like it a lot. The next thing I got for my birthday is this Sonic Mega Collection for GameCube. Yeah, I got this guy from a game store and Honestly, like, it's a pretty good looking game. Like, I have played it and it's awesome. Like, you see, here's the disc, it's really small. 
And here's the manual, which I'm not gonna take it out, but yeah. Here's a look, look at the back. Like you see, it has ready for everyone. And yeah, here's like the games that you can play on it. Like, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking game. And the last thing I got for my birthday is this Nintendo GameCube console. And yes, I got it from the same store as it, the Sonic Mega Collection I got. And yeah, to be honest, this is a great looking console to me. Like I got it for 130 bucks and yeah, it was honestly worth it. Like you see here, we got, we got um this right here, the little thing, I guess. We got the power reset button and the eject. And here's a look at the disc drive, which is really small, but I guess it looks pretty good looking. And here's a, the back of the console. Like see, it's got all the ports and stuff. It's even got a handle in case you wanna carry it around or something. But yeah, and here's a look at the bottom of the console. And yeah, honestly, it's a great looking console and I like this guy a lot. All right, everyone, that is it. So this is everything I got for my birthday of 2024. And yeah, like to me, this is a lot because like I have like some good games right here. Like I got a game right there and a GameCube right there. And I've also got new plushies that I'm going to be using in videos. Like, yeah, like I definitely do plan on using the movie plushes because they look so awesome and yeah overall I'm happy with what I got for my birthday and yeah honestly it was it's great I, I like it so yeah that's it for today's video so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more awesome videos